Hello there, welcome to the first part of this ridiculous mega filter build for my pond. In this episode, I'm basically just going to run you through the various parts of the filter and explain the direction the water is going to flow, what's going to be in each particular section. And then in the next episode, we're going to be starting to put it together. Okay, that is the pond. And as you can see, it's very, very green. It's also got a lot of suspended sediment in it as well. So the filter is basically to settle out that suspended sediment. Right, before I start showing you all the different parts, I'll just explain about the base. The base is made really, really solidly out of three by three posts, four by three posts, uh, they're bolted in here, they're, they're screwed in here, they're also nailed in here. We've got external plywood here, which is a hardwood board. So basically, it's very, very strong. And I've also got another base here, which is supporting one, two, three big containers. And we've got a base at the back, which is supporting another big container as well. So in preparation for this build, there's been a lot of woodwork going on here. So the water is going to come up from the pond underground and it's, then it's going to go up here through this base and into three of these fellas. Now that's going to have the end cut off and the outlet is also going to be cut off as well to take a four inch pipe and that is a vortex filter. And as you probably guessed, it creates a vortex. So water comes in here, spins around and around and around, the heavy muck settles out into the bottom. Water goes out here and into our next section. And as I say, there's going to be three of those linked up with pipes. As I said, this is going to have a four inch pipe on. It's actually going to be a 90 degree bend. So it'll fire the water this way along a four inch pipe and that will go into a big container here. This big container will be filled with brushes. And from there, the water is going to drop out of multiple 2 inch pipes down into another container here. And this container is actually going to have a moving bed filter. But it's not going to be driven by air. It's going to be driven by fallen water. At least that is the plan. From there, the water is going to go through probably a, at least half a ton of alpha grog, which looks like a lava rock. It's actually a ceramic filter media with most of its surface area on the outside. And that'll be in big crates in here. Then it's going to go into another roughly half a ton, maybe 600 kilos of alpha grog. Then it's going to drop out of that far side, uh, just about here, and from there it's going to go into here. Uh, and you'll have to forgive the state of this, obviously all of this stuff's going to come out. Um, but this is a, roughly a thousand litre tub, and that's going to have a pump in, which will pump the hopefully clean water up to a shower filter. And that shower filter is approximately one meter wide and it's got four tiers. That'll all be filled with pumice and Biohome Ultra or the new shower media from Biohome. And then from there, it'll drop out of a four inch pipe down and back to our pond. But I'm actually contemplating putting another part of the filter into operation. And that'll be to have smaller pipes coming out of here into a shallow, pretty big tub here, which will be for growing Daphnia. That'll be very slow flow in full sunshine underneath the oak trees. So it should be a perfect environment for growing Daphnia. The idea behind that is that every so often I can just open the bottom drain in there, and drain the Daphnia off straight back into the pond to not only feed the small fish, but hopefully to also help with the organic matter in the water and also eating the algae in the water as well. 
Now every one of these containers is going to have at least one bottom drain. And fitting those will involve me drilling a two inch hole in the bottom of the container, somewhere convenient, probably on that end. Putting this in, which is a tank connector with a lock and nut, and then fitting a big ball valve. The idea behind that is, then I can come, when I want to clean it out, with a great big long pipe, with a two inch fitting on the end, and just slot that straight in, open it up, and drain all the muck off here. Now the entire volume of all of these things put together is round about eight and a half to 9,000 litres which is quite a big filter. Obviously it's going to take a hell of a lot of filling, there's going to be brushes and grog and moving bed, there's going to be all sorts of different components to this particular filter. I think nine and a, eight and a half to 9,000 litres is roughly 2,000 gallons or thereabouts, maybe it's two and a half thousand US gallons. So there's going to be a hell of a lot of water in the filter at any time. But the idea is to have it moving fast in certain parts in the vortex to settle the muck out and have it moving slow through the brushes and the media to really just settle the muck out and give it a long dwell time hopefully get all of the very very fine clay dust that's blighting my pond and then obviously we're going to have a, a nation of biological action with all of the grog and also the shower filter as well and I think in that shower filter container, that 1,000 litre tub, I'm also going to put crates of alpha grog in there as well. So there's going to be a hell of a lot going on. And this whole filter is going to be a total breeding ground for the likes of water lice, water shrimps, all sorts of larvae, basically things that are going to feed the fish. So it should be a really rich resource. That water that goes back to the pond should be really really good quality oxygenated and it should be full of little creatures going to feed the fish now I've got all of the main parts of this I just need to put it together so join me in part two when we'll be concentrating on the vortex filters